Okay guys, so continue tayo sa discussion natin. So this time is we will be uh, dealing with worded problems na. So first, uh, worded problem is about age problems. Okay? So yung algorithm na ginagamit sa pag-solve sa age problem is yun ano lang, no? So ang tip lang, it is better uh, it is better to let the present age be your reference. So gawin mong reference na. Okay? So, reference, so I assume na yan yung X. No? So, if it talks about past age, so you just need to subtract. So, ibig sabuhin, uh, for example, 3 uh, years ago. No? So, it means X minus 3. Okay? So, that is in past age. Okay? So, when it... Uh, when it refers to future age, so use plus, okay? Yeah? Just use plus if yung age pre, uh, referred to, uh, referred is future, and use minus if yung age referred to is past, okay? So, example, uh, in 3 years, no? Coming pa siya, eh, no? In 3 years, so x plus 3. So, ganun yung magiging equation mo, okay? So, gawin mo lang reference yung present age pag, uh, Pag nag-refer siya sa pass, so magdidak ka lang. Then, pag mag-refer siya in the future, so mag-add ka lang. Okay? So, meron din tayong mga modifiers in time. So, for past age, present age, and future age, meron tayo. Sa past age, we have was, where, ago, last, yesteryear, tsaka yung mga verbs in a past tense. Kasi, kasi sa problem, minsan tayo mag-identify kung yung statement na yan is sa past pa yung ibig niya sabihin. Okay? Sa present naman, meron tayong S, R, um, now, being, and verbs in the present tense. Okay? Present tense. And then, sa future naman, so ito naman yung mga modifiers. Will, shall, be, further, hints. Diba? Verbs in the future tense. So, ganun na. So, once meron tong mga mga words na tau, so, ibig sabihin that refers to the future. Present or the past age. Okay? So, meron din tayong sa time year modifiers. So, Minsan hindi gagamit yung problem in 10 years, no? in 20 years. Minsan hindi yan gagamitin sa problem. Sabihin niya, decade, no? silver, golden. Di ba? Ganun. So, pag 10 years, that is decade. 20 years, that is score. 25 years, that is silver. 50 years, that is golden. 75 years, that is diamond. And 100 years, that is century or centennial. Ayan, so sana umabot tayo dito sa century. Okay, so ganun lang naman, no? sa so, tandaan mo lang yung algorithm natin na uh, present age minus the past age plus the future age. Sige, uh, mas maganda pag may example. Tignan natin yung example. So, the sum of Leah's and Darren's age is 18. In 3 years, Leah will be twice as old as Darren. What are their ages now? Okay, so ilan daw yung edad nila ngayon? Ayan, now In 3 years So that is klaro yan, na? Present Future Okay So para masood to Masyam tayo ng variable Yun talaga yung pinakauna So let L be The age of Leah now. Oh, di ba? Present yan. Kaya gamit ko lang variable. And let D be Darren's age now. So, since now, since present, so gawin natin reference yung variable. No? Di ba? Parang x lang din yan. Okay. So, gawa natin ng equation every statement. Kunin ko yung statement 1. Kunin ko to. Gawa natin na equation yan. So, this is statement 1. Statement 1. The sum of Leah and Darren's age is 18. So, the sum of Leah and Darren, so yung sum daw nila, is 
18. So, this will be our equation 1. Okay? Next. In 3 years, yeah, kunin natin ito. Kunin ko yung equation na yan. And then, meron tayong statement 2. Ayan. So, bali... Yan, yan yung sabi niya. In 3 years, future. Okay? This refers to future. So, we use plus. Ah, plus. So, in... Uh, pag mag... Ano ka? Pag mag... Gawa ka ng equation, uh, tanggalin mo muna yung in 3 years. Okay? Tanggalin mo muna ito. Assuming muna na wala yan, na? So, ito lang yung muna yung gawan mo ng equation. Lia. Okay? So, si Lia daw. So, si Lia daw. Wala, wala pa tayong in 3 years nito. Si Lia daw will be twice as old as Darin. Okay? Na? Si Lia is twice as old sa Darin. Pero sabi niya, in 3 years. So, we need to put parenthesis. And we use plus 3 plus 3. Klaro? In 3 years. So, kalimutan mo muna na may in 3 years. Sulat mo muna yung equation niya. Leah will be twice as old as Darren. Then, dun muna i-add yung in 3 years, which is plus kasi future eh. Ha? Tsaka may word pa siyang will dito eh. So, this will be our equation too. Okay? Klaro na yan ha? So, therefore, considering yung equation 1, we have L plus D equals 18. And then, dito meron tayong L plus 3 twice nung D plus 3. Yeah? So, pag simplify natin yan, this becomes L plus 3 2D plus 6 or L is just equal to 2D plus 6 minus 3. L is just 2D plus 3. Okay? So, kunin mo yung equation na ito. Yeah? Yan yung simplified for na equation 2. So, yan yung, yan ito yung equation 1. So, solving for equation 1 and 2 using your calculator or yung conventional na way by elimination. So, you will have the value of L and D and that is just equal to ilan yan? Uh, 13 years old and then 5 years old so ganyan lang sa age problem. So, ganyan magawa ng equation for age problem. Okay? So, I hope may natutunan kayo. So, basta tandaan, tandaan nyo lang lagi yung algorithm natin. Ha? So, ganun lang. So, sa next na video is... na sum of uh, age problem okay kasi parang mauubos yung oras ko nito eh na? so sa next na video na lang na? kasi problem pa lang ayun sobrang haba na na so, okay uh, sa next na video na lang to kasi medyo mahaba eh tsaka yung solution nito medyo mahaba din so sa next video na lang guys thank you